Hello guys, this is how I make wax dirt. I take a stainless steel tray, put it out in the sun. This is very time consuming, but it doesn't cost me anything. You just lay it out in the sun and leave it all afternoon. So I take a gallon of finely sifted dirt from the area that I will be trapping in. That's the thing you don't want dirt from different areas because it just has a different texture and looks different. So I take a gallon of dirt, let it heat up in a stainless steel pan. This thing gets hot really fast, laying in the sun. And I take a gallon of sifted dirt and I'm going to mix um, a half a pound of flake wax from F&T now, when I got this, it was almost a big solid hunk because in the back of the UPS truck, it really got hot. So I got a lot of clumps I got to work out of it. So I don't use a lot of wax dirt, mainly only in probably January, and I bed with peat moss. So... This is just going to go over the trap to help waterproof it. I also use four coil traps, so they usually will spring up and break out of the bedding if the bedding tries to freeze on me. So just break it up really good. All these clumps that clumped up in the back of the OMU truck, not OMU, back of the UPS brown truck. They really ought to change the color of their trucks to white. Because also I ordered a bunch of bait and I'm worried about that was really hot and I wonder what that did to my bait cooking in the back of the OMU truck. So, once our dirt is heated up pretty good, I'll smooth it out. It's nice and warm. This is also how I dry this dirt. It is sort of time consuming, but so we just dump the wax in there. And we just leave it in the sun for a couple hours. I do need some exposed metal because that's what heats up in the sun and the stainless steel really carries it good. So we want it to sit here till it gets a wet appearance and that's from the wax melting. Then, then we'll take it and go put it in the shade and stir it up whole bunch so it cools and doesn't clump up so let's let it sit for a few hours this way you don't use any propane or it doesn't cost you anything and to heat it it is slow only a gallon at a time but during the summer just stick it out there and let it let it do its thing okay ten minutes later see how it's changing color looking all wet. Now's when we need to stir it up a little bit and work out in the yard and every 10-15 minutes stir it up. It doesn't take that long. Um, if you use a stainless steel pan that's going to heat up, this way we don't have to use propane or anything. 
um, doesn't cost anything, dirt's free, and see how it's changing that wet look? That's what we want the whole thing to look like, and then we'll take it and put it in the shade. Okay, we're 30 minutes in. I've stirred it three times, I think. Every time it starts to change color a little bit, um, I put a glove on, stir it up. I like to leave different openings in the metal so the metal heats up from the sun. So I should be able to do, at this going rate, 10 gallons today probably. So this is one gallon. And when it quits looking polka dot like that, then we'll put it in the shade and let it cool down. But it doesn't take long. This has only been 30 minutes and uh, it's, it's getting pretty close to being done. And if you don't frequently stir it up, it sort of gets clumpy. This wet, those wet polka dots is the wax that's melting, and you want to get it all around the the pan. And you will notice as it's getting almost complete, how the dirt is a different color. Than we started with and it will permanently stay a darker color than the really white not white but really light colored tan colored dirt that we started with and you can see there's some clumps in here that are not going to take up all the wax and I couldn't sift them out because they're making it through the sifter but you'll see the different the white color that's what it started with I mean it's just they're just not absorbing the wax like the powder. So you just continually, about every 10 minutes, stir it. And I like to keep open spots in the metal so the metal heats up in the sun. It's about 85 degrees today, so it's not a really hot day. I do wish there was a little bit less wind than we have right now. We got a lot of wind. Um, but on an 85 degree day, it shouldn't take more than an hour to make your wax dirt if you're using a stainless steel tray like this. This came out of a, a restaurant or something. I don't remember, but any kind of stainless steel would work. I don't know how well aluminum would work, like a traffic signs and stuff, but but you'll see how it's it's a different color now than we started with. And so, anyways, whenever I whenever I first get traps, I always clean them with carburetor cleaner. And then I paint them and I let them hang for about a week in the shed. Got me some new MB550s. I'll make sure we have no, or, no, that's a, that's a Bridger dog list. But anyways, there's the MBs. Um, I will wax them like, not wax them, I'll paint them like this first. And then once I have a catch and they've been in the ground and they chew all the paint off, then that from that point on they get waxed and dyed. But... They, I'm not going to prematurely um, rust my traps. I'm more concerned about the springs than anything else because you take care of a trap and they'll last you a lifetime. The, um, so unless you prematurely rust them, they're not going to take a die anyways. But um, it's going to rain a little bit. I got some more dirt I want to wax so I'm going to get out the big piece of stainless steel that I got at a salvage yard for this purpose. Okay we're at two hours. Um, polka dots are almost disappeared. It's all absorbed in and we'll be moving this to the shade and letting it cool off and stir it down as it cools off and rebag it in with one gallon freezer bags. That's how I deal with it is one bag one gallon bags because that's what I use on the trap line because I'm usually packing everything in 
when I want to deal with more than a gallon at a time in the small container I use this big stainless steel I think stainless steel is the key because of the density and it heats up really good in the sun it'll get so hot you can't hardly put your hand on it and I can do three or four gallons at a time on this plate so notice the difference between this dry cornfield dirt and this clayish um, dirt that came from a cemetery um, that's why I say using the dirt where you're going to trap at is real important because look at the difference in colors and if I throw that wax dirt on that or vice versa it's going to be obvious unless you blend in with a lot of duff it's going to really look different so I'm going to get a couple more gallons going here